So here we are. We're going to do the third installment of today's off stream stream and uh, trying a little different lighting this time. Um, <clears throat> I don't know when this one's going to stop. It really depends on when Mr. Potato gets home. But what we're going to do is the same thing we did on EU. We're going to do on NA, which is going to only people whose houses we, of people we visited before, we know that they can find our stream. Uh, so we're going to start with Agony's Ascent, Fig's Observatory. Latest project, the Eye of Fig is starting to enter the realm. Comes complete with an extraction chair and a sky shard engine. Portal back to my housing hub is at the top of the main spire above the telescopes. I do not know my way around this house. I don't, I do not embarrass to say. So there may be difficulty with that. Okay. <clears throat> The first video is up. It is processing as we speak. The second video is being uploaded now. Uh, this is the third video. Goodness, Fig. Um, Fig is quite the builder on a large scale. Fig um, can make very big things that are impressive and epic. Ah, look at that wall. A wall of doors. The door of walls. What? I'm going to miss stuff in this house because I don't know this house yet. Two effects, I don't know what they are. This house is very interesting to me. Oh, let me take off my ring, my fancy ring. That's my fast ring. Hey, peddler. Approach, featherless. These crows do look cool, but Honestly, like, I'm not gonna pay for another banker. I already have, um, two of the original, and I got the uh, Izabi. And I'm not gonna just keep buying bankers. So, there's that. Um, let me change one thing. Interface. Quest tracker. Does not need to be on. There we go. Why are there carpets all over here? That's interesting. Ah, uh, Aerox. Hey, Aerox. <laughs> I just want to pet him. He rocks is the best in the whole wide world. Uh, over here, what have we have? West Bridge. I guess I should have looked at that house first. That, I, but I, like I said, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Sulfur rooms. Looks more like a machine? Then a sulfur room? It's clearly a very Frankensteinian lad looking thing. This place must be very stinky. Sulfur, you know. I took some pain nuts. They should be kicking in in the next hour. Unfortunately, they are slow acting. I love these 1950s looking machinery things. They're really kind of wild. Um, they're very like how the 1950s saw the future kind of looking how, uh, machines. Right, let's go up. As a uh, remember, was it Bayushi? Bayushi showed me her agony's ascent. And she had an elevator, and the reason was to save slot spaces. Um, because the amount of stairs that it would take to get up to the top is a lot, as you can see. So obviously this is the library. I probably uh, wouldn't have had an elevator, it's a little bit beyond me, even though I could probably figure it out. It's still a bit much for me. So I would, wow, that looks wild. <clears throat> I would probably use longer items than the short steps, just to give myself more slots if that's what I wanted. I personally, 
you know, it doesn't matter what you use if you're comfortable with it. I may not even need more slots. Mm -hmm. Okay, back on the bottom floor. I don't know what this one is. Isn't this what I already, are they all? No, I must've gone to the wrong way. I don't think there's sulfur rooms on both sides. I think I made a mistake. What are you? It's very War of the Worldsian. Definitely getting the 1950s, 60s sci-fi vibe out of this. Not sulfur pools. All the mad scientists in the game are very excited about all of this. I'm sure. The lightning and the new lights and whatnot. It's a little jarring to me, but I get it. I get the appeal. But I think not all of it. Gah! Did I speed it up? I didn't mean to. I don't know that I did anything to. Alright. The next one would be Al Palafi. I don't know if I've seen them. Their stuff is worth. Um Harajuku Junku. I don't know. having one of those days where I just I'm having trouble finding the ones I was looking for. Amaya. Okay. Here we go. Bees knees. I've seen a billion of things from. Color. Blue, green, purple based on a nature themed exterior cave free skin of a mile like lodge. No interiors and it's really not meant to be a fully functional build. It's just a pretty chill spot. Come and visit and relax. Sure thing. Bees. Bulls, bulls. Good God, this is gorgeous. Uh, so it if you um, wanted me to judge a contest or needed my help with a contest for some reason, you're welcome to ask me. I'm not binding myself to only helping some guilds and not others. So yeah, I'm an all purpose, all service, all, well, not platform, unfortunately, but all server, not platform, PC server. Gorgeous. Um, and I like to help anybody in the housing community. So it's not just you know, not just some set of group of people. It's everybody. Oh, right. She said nothing on the inside. Just a chill place to look. Good God, is this beautiful. Just the, the lushness of it. The, the the lighting is really good. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> you could get married here. It's that beautiful. Just your average, perfectly normal, completely harmless neighborhood pumpkin patch. Pumpkin factory. All right, this is very pretty. If you hear murps in the background, that is my boy Connor. He, he murps, he makes noises. He makes talk, he talks, that's what he does. Um, there's gonna be growling and perhaps screaming in a short moment because he's trying to go on the cat tree that Sherry doesn't want him on. It's gonna be a hiss at the very least. There we go called it. Beautiful. Goats, goat sheep. No, but they're both sheep. Look at the moth. Oh, that's so cool. What's this? Keep out. Somehow I think the keep out isn't really a keep out. I think it's probably a, this is where the naughty bad stuff is. This machine. I love machines. I've been going through a lot of my um what are they doing? How do you make a pumpkin? Do you grow pumpkins? 
Oh no, the scuttlebots are in prison. Oh no, they're getting turned into pumpkins. <laughs> How could you? Why would you? I guess because you can. Why not? Well, this is fun. I wonder what this is all about. So, you see the bottom? There's a lot of people who believe that scuttlebugs, you see the eyes, are are actually spiders. They're not spiders. They're not uh, plants. They're spiders. If you look at the eight eyes, six on each side, two on the top, it leads you to the conclusion that it is a spider. It's hard to disagree with it after looking at that. Uh, a spider with a very flowery looking back. So some people who don't like spiders have been a little disappointed by that. This is a lot of fun. I probably missed something about it. I hope I didn't. I don't know if you have actions or not. Uh, let me know if there's anything I need to come back and look at. All right. A little bit of Christmas in here too, because that's how far behind I am. Did you just throw the bowl? Are you stupid? Connor is a little bit clumsy. He's a big boy and he's little, he's got polydactyl feet and he is just the clumsiest. All right, so we've got wood being chopped. Look at the kitty sitting on the wood. We have a scythe. Birch trees are my favorite. And then we go inside. Rain barrel. Oh dear, I left my door open. Hold on, I gotta close that or I'm gonna end up with a bad kitty in here. Tammy is a bit uh, aggressive and we had an incident earlier. <clears throat> we do not want incidents or accidents. Here we go. Or hints and allegations. Look at all the bread. A very nice kitchen. I say this probably every time I come here. This house is, it was surprisingly difficult for me to decorate because of the lack of slots. I think if I had done what Venetian had done here and really used big items in a smart way, I would have been fine, but I was still a noob. Still learning. Silver Rose, okay. Home of my leaky. Silver Rose is, is a fabulous human. Home of the goddess Myliki, the goddess of druids, dryads, forests, forest creatures, and rangers. Obviously a really smart place to put that. And, and I didn't give her her CBD today, so she's extra annoying. So we start off, I'm glad we came here during the day because I seem to remember stopping in here at night. And while the glowies are pretty, I couldn't see all the detail. And as you can see, the butterflies, the lizard, the bunny, there is a ton of of uh, detail in here. The floating magic you see around me is EHT, the little blue thing. They they bought many, many uh, waterfalls in order to create this river. It's a beautiful little spot. I believe this is a stairway up. We have the little subtle planting of flowers along the way. Nicely enough, Connor has gone to the top and not the tray, the top tray, which is not the tray that uh, Sherry prefers. So he's at least being nice about that. Once upon a time, I tried to do a, uh, a house in Matisse in that it looked a lot like this with walkways, hedges. Hedges do have collision. You can use them to walk on if you do it right meaning put them close enough together, etc. This is very idyllic up here. There's one person who used um, <coughs> hedges to create a maze uh, pathway all the way up to the top of Telgalen. And it was quite the challenge to get up to the top. Um, oh, I like those as doorways. Very pretty. That looks really good. I'm surprised more people don't use those trees as wall cover. Oh, look at the bed! Shroomy bed. Very cute. I like it. 
beautiful. Great view, too. You know me in views. I like it silver. And I think well, I'm very impressed. I mean, it's a simple... Uh, dead? Not dead. Uh, it's a simple enough uh, effect, but you use it so well. It really makes a difference. I would even add a couple more, but that's just me. You know me in effects. I'm a little bit ridiculous when it comes to that. Gorgeous transformation, though. Oh, goodness. Wow. That's something. Very vehicle-y. Quite good. Portal. Written in, in dream shards. A little spider just chilling. Now, I never played Portal, so if this is supposed to be a reference to Portal, I will fail, because I, I never played it. But if this is just a Portal... Coffee maker? <gasps> Those sandwiches! I'm in love. You have now officially killed me. That's amazing. Look at the little sign with the beer on top, or the soda. Sandwiches, man. I'd eat those. These are tickets. You can see the tickets on the top. They kept the theme throughout. Such talent. Here's the ticket taker, I assume. Connor, the, cl the completely clumsy, just jumped down. Do you want to leave, buddy? If you if you're gonna leave here, go. There you go, bud. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on so I can close the door, buddy. Work. All right. I don't want to live like this much longer, but I, I haven't drugged uh, Cammy, and that's my fault. So here's the ship. And now he's going to cry. And the portal outwards. I wonder if you get a view from the front. No, you don't. How does the pilot see? <laughs> that's funny. I like it, though. Connor, you can't always be everywhere. All the time. And right through the wormhole. Excellent. Really, I love the fact that it's not just a ship. It's also got the whole experience of getting on it. Sniffing, um, trying to be a good boy, and then he ended up chasing her and smacking her. So that didn't work out so well, and he got booted. What's going on out here? Other than a bathroom out there. I'm sure it said, and I just missed it. Hermit Healer House, okay. I'm a hermit. It's been really easy to be a hermit since uh, COVID. And uh, it suits me just fine in terms of that. Oh, goodness. Wow, lots of stuff, lots of clutter. Look at all the food just sunken in. That is smart. Mortar and pestle working by itself, magically. Shush! Yeah, shush. Look at all the alchemical stuff. Very yellowy, which is good. It makes it a warm feel. And look, this reminds me of Skyrim with all of the stuff up on the roof coming down, like the, the ivy and whatnot. I wonder what she's making. No, this stroller is a good builder. 700 out of 700. Generally, I've been trying to visit these places ahead of time to make sure that they have enough What's in them. Me? But I don't need to with someone like Melistrella or any of my regulars. You guys are all good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Knock it off. He's not even in the room anymore. That's pretty. This is the drama in my life now. I'm just sick of it. But that's how it goes. Stable. Crafting. Wow, you dug up a lot of those. Crazy. Yeah, I, I see what you did here. You know, sometimes this bothers me too, that the water just 
vanishes. It's nice to have it go into a drain and uh, not just like weirdly vanish. Go get your uh, sky shard. Soul shard. Sky shard? Whatever. Oh, I see. It's got a sneaky, sneaky uh, invisible walkway. Cool. I bet you it's a trick. Oh no. You can do it. There's the mermaid. All oh, those fleet of boats. Oh wow. Look at that from behind. That looks really cool. Neat. Sunset is a beautiful time in Tamriel. You know what I've been thinking about lately? And it's because of the PvP stuff going on right now that I've been thinking it. You know, during the quest lines, you get to meet all of the leaders. You get to meet uh, the Nordic leader, Skald, you get to Skald King. You get to meet uh, Emmerich, and you get to meet the Queen. Interestingly, they all seem rather reasonable and sensible. Oh, look at that. They don't seem like warmongers. So it, it really makes me question why we have the three banners of war. I mean, obviously it's for pro the fact that we need a PvP area, the but you know, in terms of making it make sense, it doesn't really. And it, they don't even seem to express what their conflict really is. That's one hell of a... Hmm. Yeah, words. I mean, I guess in a sense, it's all, uh, it's always going to be about who owns it, Cyrodiil. But in the end, it just seems missing. Like that whole story is just missing. Okay. And here's a kitchen. A very realistic looking kitchen and laundry bedrooms and another set of crafting stations and then back here this reminds me of one of the basement rooms in the castles can't remember which one and there we go lovely and that's how you do those invisible walkways with the tiles Let's see what you did here, see Jack. A little bit of Eleanor in your life. Hmm. Since he's coming home so late. Ooh, awfully pretty. Kinda wild in the location. But hey, I did the same thing. I moved my Eleanor home. To, uh, to here. That's a throne for you, if you know what I mean. I like the mirror situation and the sink. Both of this is quite nice. Alright, here we go. This is... He's gonna bring home Dinden. Got it. Oof! Dwarven sun. But lovely garden in a tight space. This is more gardening. They made this a very floral, pretty home for a very dismal place. And that's okay. You can do that. You can work against the house. Just knowing that if you work against the house, it may end up taking more slots because you're going to have to cover things. You're going to have to overwhelm the senses with the change that you're going to make. The, the new feeling you have in the house. I think that's it? Same as always, if I missed anything, tell me. Goodness! I did miss something. Glad I found it. Alright, so... I don't know these new houses yet. The Doom Char and all that. So, and some of it is, is home-built. So it's like everyone is a little bit different. Um, so I apologize for that. Look at that. They sunk the medallions into the wall. It looks like it's part of the wall. War? War? Wall. Words. Words are hard. Here's Adusadaro. She's the vampire guest. Boivia! Yo! Dinner. Anybody want some dinner? No, it looks quite tasty. I could go for a steak. 
This must be the dining room. Good usage of these tables that otherwise maybe you don't know what to do with. I always have an a Roth, an extra stuck away somewhere. I think that's it. Except for, you know, if I wanted to fall to my death. I keep saying I think that's it, and then I find the next piece that I didn't see. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I can't say that that's very good, but I'm doing my best. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. All right, there was another one to the side. Let's double check. There we go. My cat is quite happy that the other cat isn't in here. Interesting. Very interesting. The, you know, the, I think these basalt things are so cool. And using it as a backdrop is cool too. No effects. This was all done by hand. Good job, seat back. So we've got a dreamscape. And now dreamscapes are going to be weird for obvious reasons. They're dreamscapes. <laughs> it's also a good way if you, I mean, clearly they didn't do that here, but if you wanted to go with a storage house kind of thing, I mean, just using stuff in weird and creative ways that would normally be in, in your um, storage house might be an interesting way to go. It's always the question of what to do with storage houses. Like, I made a store out of one of mine back in the day when I had hardly what I have now. And even then I ran out of slots. It's quite a beautiful dream. I mean, as dreams go, it could be a lot worse, right? Sweet roll, sweet roll, holy poly, sweet roll. Nothing in the Jester's cover. Eat up, yum. This house, for me, is a storage, um, no effects by the way in here, is a storage for builds. So I have like individual builds that I've put in here. Fish pink. Very pretty colors. Um, oh, to close the... Why is the lion in- oh, well, that's a dream. Who knows? Okay. Vermina! That explains a lot, doesn't it? If you've got a bad dreams. Oh dear, everything's upside down and floating to the sky. Where's Shio? Somewhere around here, I'm sure. playing the saxophone. And when I say that line, which is also an old saying, um, from U2, which is, and a woman leads a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Well, a fish doesn't need a saxophone either, or a dragon horn. What is this? Oh, goodness. Not sure, but like we said, it's a nightmare, so it could be anything. Or a dream. Hard to say. Alright, we went up. Were we in the basement? I thought that was the first floor. I guess it was the basement. Alright. Apologies if I missed anything. Oof. So many uh, Shadows Assassins. It's been a while. Long ago, this lighthouse used to be the pride and joy of East March, guiding ships into the docks tirelessly, day after day. People would come from all around to spend a day or night in the wintry wonderland. However, not all good things can last, and it was replaced when its faithful owner passed on and its magic faded with him. The skilled wizard preserved it in an enchanted snow globe and set it on display so all could come and relive fond memories whenever they wished. That's a nice little story. Isn't it? Seventeen percent. This is taking forever. Sadness. Alright. Oh, 
it's quite the story behind it too. So we're in a, you know, and it takes into account something that generally most of these houses don't, which is the fact that it's in a snow globe, right? Like a lot of us have built stuff in here and haven't even addressed the fact that it's in a snow globe, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, we have a sneaky. We have a sneaky folks. Pretty garden. I love the, I, I feel like I can smell the jasmine from the snow lilies. It's quite the compliment that um, that guy always calls the, the half giant woman, Lyrinth, not Lyrinth. I can't remember her name. Lyris, it's very close. Okay, a cobbled cart. This is all made from individual items put together to become a cart. They should give us one of these very pretty carts though. Um, Whoa, what's going on in here? Looks like uh, there's going to be some books put in here eventually. Cozy bedroom. They've completely redone this interior because obviously this is not the way this house is laid out. Also, it looks like they cut off the basement. Uh, there's usually a little basement right there, but I don't think you can get into it. And here's all the storage, the peddler, the banker. Oh my God, it's a peddler, it's a banker. Take my money. Take my money. All right. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to come back with another section. So I'll see you all quite soon, I hope.